Hi guys, welcome back to SSA Athletics and today we're going to look at the women's 60 meter Weld Indoor Final which took place in Belgrade March time 2022. It was more shocking. More shocking than Wales losing to Italy in the rugby. And the reaction both me and my dad had watching this was something to behold. So guys, if you like what we do, subscribe to the channel, make sure you check out our Facebook pages, both the training page as well as the normal page. And if you're interested in the athletics club we host on a Monday and Wednesday, check out our website. Okay, it's time to watch the video. Is set to be a cracker with very little between well, so many of the women in here. Kambunji on the outside lane. Probably not one of the favourites. The favourite in this really is Svoboda. She has a 699. She's arguably the best technically there as well, as well as being the fastest athlete in that field. And Eva Svoboda settles in ever since she emerged on the, the world stage. 17 year old, she's always shone brightest in the in the 60 meters. A great starter, maintains that pace. Very strong, powerful, almost like a battleship style athlete. There are two US athletes on the outside of her, exceedingly quick, but probably not as quick as her. And there's also uh, Bianca Williams, who is a extremely fast, over the 100 meters Jamaican athlete. But obviously being shorter, a shorter race, it all comes down to that start. Here they are, they're all lined up. Okay, so let's look at this American technique. What is this going on in the only marks position here? I've seen a few of these Americans doing styles like this and to the textbook it's technically massively wrong and incorrect but there's something they've been working on here is the reason why they have both knees on the ground. I don't understand it yet and to be honest with you I don't know the science behind it whether it's any quicker but for some reason on the 60 meters the athletes have been utilizing this technique here and her arms are so wide apart usually you have it to the point of comfortability and when you rise up, the old school method is you've got to lean forward. It's got to be slightly uncomfortable because you're almost falling out the blocks. You're not falling out the blocks, but you're falling out and pushing that weight forward. The modern UKA method is that you've got to be comfortable and hold your position in the blocks. I don't think that's right because if you're too comfortable, you're not necessarily going to get a quick start. But then I might be old school. So, but uh, this is like textbook technique on how not to do an on your marks position. Arms wide apart, both knees on the ground. Now, historically, that would have been illegal. You had to have one knee off the ground. And as you notice, the American there in lane two, in lane three, sorry, one leg far, and it's pushed her body almost angled racing forwards. So that is interesting. Anyway, everyone else has got this different style of technique. Some girls have got their hips higher, some girls haven't. Some girls have got their legs a lot closer to the line. Whatever works, as long as you get that good starting position. And now they're off. And Svoboda has an awful start. I'm sorry, it's like she's sprinting by numbers. She, it's, it's robotic. It's like, I've got to get out. Now I've got to stand up. Rather than being smooth and coming up. And that's not very becoming of her. That is unusual for her because she is an awesome starter. As we note here, everyone else is coming off into the 30 meter position. Not everyone is up. Some of the athletes are up here. Some of the athletes are still angled their body down because they're still accelerating. Let's move it on a bit. Here they are, they're up again. So most of the athletes are now fully up. Some of the athletes are still leaning. Some of these girls might take a bit longer to get into the acceleration to full flight. Likewise for Boda's not even the race because you never had an acceleration phase. I was doing when I was watching this I was too busy watching doing in the middle here and I didn't notice the girl coming on the outside the boat is really tightening up here and Kambundi takes it on the line now she had the fastest start she had the fastest start uh, she timed it to perfection if it was any faster she would have done a full stop anyway she had a fantastic start pushed on moved on through the field and she was unpressured by the other athletes around her 
she got a 6.96, which is the fastest this year. And to be honest, she, here we go, here's the shock. Yes, darling, you have won. This is proof that as an athlete, sometimes it's just a matter of hanging on in there. You get these guys who are really good at younger ages, but then you get athletes who come through and often we spend too much effort going, he's going to be good, she's going to be good, and they turn out to be absolutely nothing. And we should focus our spread a lot more because there are athletes good enough to be there, but because they're not the oldest in their age group or they're not necessarily the best at that time, they get ignored. And they're the ones we should potentially be focusing more. The ones who are in and around there, you could potentially get faster and get medals. Yes, it's elite athletics, so you never know. Because some of those athletes who are good now are probably at the best they will probably see peak performance. And when they go off into seniors, they disappear. But let, let's get back onto the race again. Got the fastest, I can't particularly see it well from that angle. But here we go. Notice the outside line, boom. Can't really see it well from there either, but she had a point and a second faster. Anyway, Svoboda had an awful start. They're coming up into their positioning upright. She's kind of cut through the field, but where Svoboda's going wrong is that she's starting to tense up. She's not relaxed. And when you tense, you run slower because you're trying to force it and it has to come naturally. Yes, you are running at full pace and that's going to be put the body into a lot of tension, but physically you've got to be relaxed. You don't want to add to that tension. You can see that pretty well when we watched it from the actual BBC highlights. You see them and she's tensing and she's trying to come through. The shoulders are kind of, there's a grimace on her face and you just got to relax. When you do athletics, sometimes you can surprise yourself. You can surprise others, but you can certainly surprise yourself. 696 to win the world indoor title. That is the way to do it. And she, as I say, almost crept up, un crept up unnoticed, Colin. And you train every day, but sometimes you don't see it when it does happen. And it's a shock. You think about how you, what's going to happen when you win these events. But it can come to, as a shock of winning it, especially when you're not the favourite either. Because these winning these events are life-changing for funding in many um, countries, but also from your commercial aspect and your mental aspect as well. You've proven to yourself that you can do well in the sport of athletics. I'm Adam McCarthy. This is another video where I react to some of the all-time performances. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.